So the last time we were here, there was no beacon, which uh, gives us a little bit of a speed boost. And I was still working on the old fortified bridge. And I have put in some time off stream and finished this up. And I'm really looking forward to showing everybody because I know I don't know that I've given a proper tour of this thing now that it's all finished. And uh, I really like the way that it, it turned out. The last time that I, stream, uh, I streamed about it, I was struggling with this structure here and it was just too big. I was just making it too large. But uh, this, this really came together nicely. We've got both of these bridges we decided to keep. We've got some detail work and stuff on each of these towers. Uh, I went through and put in like all the cracked and all the different textures and things like, things like that. And this here is I guess the gatehouse or the the place where the person that would I guess live here would stay. And uh, what I really like about it is the scale. It seemed to just really come together nicely. Like it's it feels like one of those kind of small medieval gatehouses that's just big enough to have like you know a bed and a mat and a table and you know some clothes hanging on a on a peg next to the fire, uh, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I'm showcasing and using uh, the data pack from Chuck Chuck for tables and chairs. And I feel like it adds some very simple. Uh, these are my models, but I'm using his data pack. It, it adds some very simple tables and chairs to Minecraft, which I think just adds an awful lot uh, to it. And you can have like different leg um, formations, which makes it great for sticking tables into corners and things like that. They're exactly the same height as a block. Uh, and I think he uses like trap doors. That's the, the like the, the model, the geometry for it. And uh, it really, really worked out well. And it brought this this build together. Quite nicely and uh, of course the new trapdoors in 113 make great kind of like trim inside there's all these little hints i don't really do interiors very often so the fact that this came together so tightly is something that i really really enjoy and if we go up here we can also creep across this bridge and see that i did a little bit of texture work and stuff on the, the floors of, of these towers and we've got like this torch thingy and it's not perfect. There's really nothing much you can do here. Other, I guess we could hang a lantern now that we've got lanterns in 114. That could be a possibility, but that might make it too tall. I'm not really sure how to handle that. But everything else is, is looking really good. Uh, even the roof on this, uh, this gatehouse thing really came out nice. It's subtle, but there's little, there's little bumps on it. I'm not sure you can see it from back here if you just... Kind of zoom in. I use the trap doors there too, and it just gives just a little bit of a kind of a ridge line to it, which I thought was really cool. And then if we go down around the bottom, it's just basically the same shape all the way around. Doesn't quite come to the river, but then it's got the chimney here on the outside, and it's got kind of like a funky shaped roof over here, and it all kind of like meshes into the tower uh, with just enough of a divide here to make it feel like a separate building. And if we go do I have ender pearls? Let's just see if I can just get over here quickly. Oh, there we go. So yeah, from this angle, from this angle here, it has a nice shape to it as well. And I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. Uh, everything from like the new detail on the, the landing to the uh, old portcullis kind of secure blocks that are just uh, droppers, I think. Droppers or dispensers? I think they're droppers facing upwards. Uh, and I mean, it just, it really kind of came together quite nicely. And then of course, uh, this is also new. All the texture work and uh, all the, uh, I guess, new blocks and stuff that we've put into the walkway here. Just little things like mossy stairs and slabs and mossy walls and all the different stuff that we have access to now. I like this little sewer drainage kind of thing there. Slabs and andesite. It's all kinds of really cool stuff that I, I quite like. So yeah, so this is this is it. This is the final final build. Uh, adding some trees really helped it as well. Really kind of pushed it push it in a direction that that makes it feel like part of the landscape. All the extra foliage bushes. We did decide to leave these um, leave these uh, doors in so that there is a way to get back up. And up here, same idea, I added in some texture in the floors. It's nothing fancy, but it's just enough 
to try and make the build feel complete so that if people come to visit that it looks like it's 100 percent done and not just like stuff kicking around yeah so i'm i'm really quite happy with the way that this turned out but what i wanted to do today is head on into the end and actually try to repair our uh our ender ender we we are running low on ender pearls on the server or at least i feel we're running low so i want to uh i want to go in and change that so let's what's going to be the easiest way i guess i guess we probably go in the nether we'll pop over to spawn and you'll see what i mean so the closest uh portal to spawn is the iron portal which is this one which I've changed a little bit. It is now inside the little uh, iron workshop. Because uh, this doesn't work. This iron farm doesn't work. The portal used to be right here, but we moved it. But this is the closest portal to spawn. So I want to go and check out to see how we're doing for ender pearls. I'm pretty sure we're on the low end as far as a server goes. It's more than enough for just me, but I feel like uh, with all the building that's coming up, we're going to want to increase our uh our ender pearl collection so yeah we've got a few stacks there and just a few stacks there and of course nothing in the hoppers and it's subtle but if you look up then you can see that we've got let's see if i can hop up here and fly we've uh we've got this little collection system here so i mentioned this actually the other day on the spawn chunks podcast uh, and this collects our ender pearls because we send them into the exit portal in the end dimension. And they end up spawning off over these four blocks right here. And they kind of spawn somewhere up here. I don't know what height they spawn in at, but they come in kind of in the air. Then they land in here and they scoot across. They hit this glass pane and they drop down. And then once they're down, once they start going down the waterfall, they eventually i think they just i can't remember whether they're whether we fix this or not they used to shoot over this but i don't think they do anymore i think they're just slow enough now that they fall down so like if i put an ender pearl in here oh i remember now i remember how we fixed this before now so they end up scooting down there and there is a hopper underneath that uh, that farmland there. So if they do land on that, which is more often than not, then they end up being pulled in here because we've got a, a hopper underneath that. And then this is here just in case, but really... They never seem to make it. They always they always kind of float around and land land on this. We could maybe try to put something here to keep them from bouncing out, but the the number of ender pearls we get is so high that I'm not I'm not really worried about it. Uh, but this is the overworld collection system. What we need to do is we need to fix the end part, which is actually not hooked up at the moment it's it's not functioning at all because uh, the old ender farm enderman farm is no longer working and the new enderman farm is so far off into the void that there's just it's not connected at all so for this build i think i want to make sure i bring plenty of obsidian which i probably have quite a bit of in the end anyway but i'm going to just double check and make sure that i've got a couple stacks of obsidian with me and I know I've got lots of endstone. I need lots of stone with me, so we'll have to bring quite a lot of stone. So let's grab our stone box and make sure that we've got enough. I don't think there's a whole lot in here. So let's just do, we'll do like a whole row at least. Yeah, so let's just grab another like nine stacks. Put these in here. Great. Because I think we're going to need, uh, oh, wait a minute. Crap. We needed 
polished stone because I think this stuff is what we're going to need the most of. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, we've got we've got a smelter there. We can probably smelt some stuff while we're down there too. That's fine. Uh, so let's put all these in here too. And I know I've got lots of ice and I know I have glass and redstone and all that kind of stuff. So that should be everything. Just have to be careful because I don't want to fall off the, the void with my elytra. So we'll have to switch gear when we get there. I don't remember how long it's been since I've been here on stream, but uh, this is our main kind of like main end island. This is the first obsidian pillar. That's part of the, the system. The, uh, the whole circle there for the dragon. So you can see we're right there. So there's there's that pillar, this one right here. We have the collection system on the surface and I think it's been mostly sealed off because we've been fighting the dragon because there's the exit portal. So I think if I go back this way and up here, yes. We should be close by to see what's going on. So this is the old, now broken, uh, Enderman farm. There used to be an Endermite in that uh, minecart chest, and all of the Endermen would come and uh, funnel in here, and they wouldn't spawn anywhere else because of the, the torches and the light. Uh, but as a result of a bunch of dragon fights, we've lost a lot of the torches, and so Endermen are spawning all over the place. And I believe that this, yes, this looks like it here. Right, so this is the end of the line. So this is where, oh, you can see, see one of my walkways down there. Interesting, I didn't know that was, didn't know that was there. Um, so this is the collection system for the Ender Pearls where we, we were killing the Endermen and I'll show you guys where, and the Ender Pearls were coming here and then inside this tunnel or this tube, uh, they would go up and then somewhere is near the end portal or the exit portal, I wanna say, it's somewhere it's like right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, so the, the ender pearls were coming out here and they get um they were getting shot into this because if we put down it just comes right to the edge and then the ender pearls would get shot in there. Uh we covered it up of course because we didn't want it to get uh destroyed during the uh ender dragon fights and stuff like that. This is the Ender Pearl storage. So as you can see, there's tons here. So the, the server is not low. We just wanted to store a bunch here uh, before we sent it off to the overworld. So in case you ever needed it, there's always a bunch here and then there's gonna be stuff in the overworld. So they used to drop here. So the Enderman farm up there, that broken one is right there and they would shoot down here and you'd see the Enderman all falling. And then their drops, their Ender Pearls would come up this way. But the problem with this is that one, it's one of those old glitchy elevators. That's the block, like the plus sign block elevator. And of course, if we go around this way, they would land here. There used to be pressure plates here uh, and that would extend the, the uh, pistons. Um, but yeah, so they would come down here. All of their drops would go in this direction. And I think it's, I think it's here. Yeah, so they would come in through here and then they would go up this block elevator and that, that would lead to the system above. So we wanna keep this. We don't wanna to have to redo this. So I'm gonna take down the coordinates of this particular location because we need to know this for future reference. All of this is actually no longer being used. So we want to take advantage of the system. I don't wanna move the system. I want to um, I want to keep the input. I'm going to change it, I believe, to be a water elevator. So all of this inside here is going to be a tube of water. Uh, this is going to stay as it is because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send the um, the Enderman out into the void uh, and keep them off the main island. So that's going to stay there. So down this way is the uh, 
the new ender ender. And the one of the first things I want to fix is uh, this uh, elevator. We don't need this downward elevator. This is just going to be a drop. I think this is this is far too slow. Plus, there's the whole magma thing at the bottom, which drives me nuts. And so we're going to get rid of this and just turn it into a drop. We're probably going to use vines or something because ladders you can hit yourself on all the way down. Uh, so, but to go back up, um, that's pretty standard. So we're going to we're going to continue to use that. So this is uh, I think it's an ill mango or a I think it's an ill mango build. But it's pretty. It's a pretty sick. Uh, Enderman farm, but it is way out here. So we've got this all sorted out here as far as, you know, having an AFK room and we've got like all the different gear that we need. And of course, this is just crazy. I had that at 5%. That to me seems really loud for 5%. But they, they shouldn't be able to punch me, which is weird. I don't remember that stone being there either. I wonder if it's been maybe broken. But all of the pearls from here that are being collected underneath here are currently being sent out into the void. Uh, they are over here. Don't know what's underneath this. There we go. Yeah, so there's nothing but, nothing but air. And yeah, so there's the dropper right there. And it's just shooting these things out. And we are really low. We are like Y level two. So there's just enough. See, there's a pearl there. There's just enough to put a water stream right there. So if we do that, like that, and then just kind of drop down here. This is what I want to do. I want to add a water stream, but I don't want to do it right here. I want to put it about 15 blocks in this direction because I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to, to be here and not hear the dropper. I don't want to hear the constant, uh, constant click of the dropper. And I don't know if you can see it from here, might be able to see it, but right there, that little bit of purple glass, that is the old Enderman farm. So we've got to send the pearls from here in a water stream all the way back that way and and then we're going to move them up into that space now the good news is now that we've got these water elevators uh it's going to make putting them up a lot easier um but the fact that there's endermen out here glitching around is making me nervous it's really kind of off-putting so i'm not going to anger these guys anymore i'm kind of surprised that they could see me and get angry it's a little bit weird but anyway so that is the plan. We just now have to uh, pucker up <laughs> and and uh, build probably, I guess the slab, the slab waterway first is going to be the first thing. Uh, once we figure out how far away we have to be, so I think we can take a look at this. This is oh we're on the we're on the the straight x one coordinate. That's easy. That means if we go. 17 blocks in that direction that should be far enough and we'll put some some ender pearls in the dropper and test it but that that should be enough so i need to know their feet are on hoppers and this is just going straight into the back of that dropper so this is going to be all hoppers i think i guess out to here 17 and 17 is where we're going to point in this direction Let's just do this. Out like that. Two, three, four, just for fun. And we'll give ourselves a little bit of room here. Now I didn't bring any glass because I wasn't sure exactly how we wanted to do this. I kind of want to make this three wide. I know it'll have to end up with a lot of carpet on it, um, but I kind of think that it'll just make it easier for us to get back and forth. I think it's magenta glass. Yeah, it looks like magenta glass. I feel like that would be a cool thing to put going back in the other direction. I haven't really thought much about colors. What do you guys think? Magenta glass out there? I think that would look pretty cool. I don't remember if we've got purple glass or magenta glass back at 
the collection system. I want to say purple. Does anybody remember? This is purple glass, and that to me suggests that purple glass is also what we used over here. Because all of this is purple. Yeah, so this is all purple stuff. That's okay. I think we can use magenta. There's magenta stuff here in the corners. I feel like we can probably probably get away with magenta. Just trying to think about what that would look like as we come down here. Because it would be like this big magenta row of glass, like right down there. Which would be really cool. And plus you can see it from here, so I think that would kind of make sense. And magenta is not a color that I use very often. So we need to put the dropper right where this guy is standing. Go! So that goes there. And then we have to build more, more stuff out this way. This is going to be really problematic. So this needs to go into a block. And then this is dust. And the repeater goes here. What, what just happened there? This needs to have dust on top and dust there and that there and then a block there. And that's this done except for the repeater that i have to now go get let's do this okay so now oh we need one more block there so that's good what i want to know though is can we hear it over here Sweet. We cannot. That means it is the exact place where I want it to be. I guess I don't want these guys picking up blocks because then they won't despawn. Okay, so that means that that is in the right spot. And now we just have to hook up some hoppers to it. And they are going to be in the redstone box again. So it looks like double carpet is going to be enough to keep these guys from spawning. So that'll be pretty easy to do. So now that this is pretty much clear, I'm going to just kind of squeeze in here and just start laying in, laying in stuff like this. Pixel Riffs. Thanks so much. Nine months in a row. 